Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the Easy Pilot Beginner Indoor FPV Racing Drone. Now this is a complete kit. Comes with the goggles, the remote control, the uh, little tiny whoop style drone, uh, ready to fly. And so stay tuned and we're gonna check it out. So I've noticed that Emacs has really been putting a lot of effort into making approachable, ready to fly or bind and fly FPV quads for people who want to get into flying FPV. If you're not wanting to build your own kit quite yet or start with a seriously expensive racer, Emacs has a bunch of great uh, options, including the Tiny Hawk S, which is right here. They had come up with the Tiny Hawk uh, originally, and then the Tiny Hawk S just came out recently, and I love this little quad. This is currently my favorite little FPV quad. Now, the reason that you might want to start with uh, the Easy Pilot over this one is a couple of things. Number one, this is quite a bit more expensive. It has brushless motors and you, it doesn't come with a remote. You have to bind it to your own, doesn't come with goggles. But if you do get into more serious FPV flying, the Tiny Hawk S and the Tiny Hawk are both really amazing. And you can see the similarities. The batteries, if you're using a 1S and the Tiny Hawk S, which it will take uh, 1S and 2S, but if you're using a 1S, it's the very same battery, which is awesome. Same charger. Um, you can actually use the same goggles for both of these. Emacs is trying to make these quads so that if you start with one like the Easy Pilot, you can actually upgrade over to the uh, Tiny Hawk S or some of their other line because the batteries, the goggles, and a lot of other things are the same. Now the other thing that they did that I really like is with their goggles and with their remote control, they didn't use um, AA batteries. They used rechargeable batteries. And the cool thing about these rechargeables is these are actually pretty standard size rechargeables, but the idea is the same, that you can have multiple sets of these batteries, you can recharge them, and they also are what you use in this remote control. So basically, you're able to use one standard battery for both the remote and the goggles, which allows you to buy more of these batteries, which you can do on Amazon or other websites like that. I'm sure Emacs is gonna sell them as well. And that's gonna allow you to just be able to fly whenever you want to because you have multiple batteries that are always charged and ready to go. I'm a big fan of that over using uh, standard AA batteries or a proprietary battery that you couldn't just buy anywhere. So it's easy to buy replacements for both the remote and the goggles. You charge the remote control using this micro USB slot right here. Just plug it into the wall with the battery in. Now you can also buy a separate battery charger for these, but if you don't have one, you can charge it straight in the remote and you can also charge the uh, goggles by plugging into this micro USB port and plugging this into the wall. Now, this headset is a low-end beginner headset. Um, it is pretty comfortable. I've flown with it a couple times now. Um, it comes with this, I believe it's a dipole antenna, which is not necessarily the best antenna you can buy, but it's sufficient. And I'm gonna fly with it at, at first just to show you that it works. But you could also take, it's a standard uh, thread, so you can take this antenna off and you can also add a second antenna over here, and I might do that in a minute with my Fat Shark antennas, um, which will allow me to maybe get a little bit better reception. But for now, I'm gonna use the dipole that it comes with. I'm just flying around my backyard, very, very uh, short distance, um, so I shouldn't have any problems. The Easy Pilot comes with a 1S uh, battery that is, again, it's the same battery that you can use in the Tiny Hawk and the Tiny Hawk S, which is nice. It comes with this little USB charger that you just pop onto the top here and this plugs into a USB port and there's a little green light that blinks that tells you um, when this thing is fully charged. Just be careful not to charge a 2S or into a 1S slot or a 1S into a 2S slot. You wanna make sure that the charger you're using is compatible with a 1S battery before you charge these with it. So what I wanna do now is go ahead and show you um, a couple of cool things, features about this. Now, number one, it has the protection around the blade. So if you run into a wall or you hit something, you're not gonna break a blade right out of the, right out of the gate. It does come with four spare props, which is really nice um, because you'll probably end up needing them or losing one. In order to uh, get it going, you're gonna to wanna to plug the battery in or slide the battery into the slot down here and then plug it in and then set it on a level surface fairly quickly and let it calibrate. Turn on the remote control. Okay, so before I put on the goggles, I'm gonna just fly it a line of sight a little bit. This switch is to arm and disarm the quad. So when it's disarmed, it won't fly. Now you have to make sure the stick is all the way down when you flip it to arm and then this props will spin. If you have the stick up 
and you hit swift limp to arm, it won't do anything. So if it's not doing anything, that's the problem. Flip it down, make sure the stick's all the way down, and then flip it up and it'll come to life. So there's three positions on this stick right here. It's beginner is in the bottom. You can remember beginner bottom. Uh, intermediate is in the middle and um, more advanced. It's still not expert. It's more of an angle mode, keeps it level and everything is up here. So all of these are pretty simple. But if you're wanting to start out in the most simple mode, you put it all the way down. And when you take off, it's going to automatically, basically all that does is that allows you to take off and land with this stick. You can't do any yaw and you can't uh, control the altitude. It does that automatically. Um, the only way you can control the altitude is to push the stick all the way up to go up or all the way down to go down. But any center adjustments like in here don't do anything. That would take you up, that would take you down in this mode. The point is that they're going to try and give you the ability to fly with just one stick to kind of get used to it, I guess. So you're going to want to start with this stick all the way down if you want to go in this mode. This stick all the way down, flip it up, and then push this stick all the way up. Now it automatically climbs to about five feet, and then it allows you to fly. And now if I pull it all the way down, it does go down. But it allows you to basically fly using just the right stick. So you'll notice here, I come over here, let me pull it down a little bit. And then the right stick allows me to yaw, and I can yaw with the right stick and uh, go forward and backwards. So basically it is um, combining those two controls into one stick, which is really interesting, but I suppose it makes it a little easier to learn how to fly. It's a little odd if you're used to flying, um, but right now, if I, if I push the stick all the way up, it'll go up a little bit, or all the way down, it'll go down a little bit. But unless I push it all the way, in those directions, that stick doesn't do anything. It just stays in, you see, it's just staying in one altitude. So again, designed for beginners, and it's, now that I'm kind of getting used to it, it actually makes it pretty easy to fly because I'm just using one stick, combining my yaw and my pitch and my roll all into one move. And actually, it isn't really pitching or rolling, it's just really yawing and going forward or backwards. Yeah, you basically have to be going forward to get anywhere. So now if I want to go forward and right, I push the stick right. If I want to go forward and left, I push the stick left. And if I just want to go forward, I just push the stick forward. Oh, and I'm almost hitting the camera. All right, so that's mode one, the simplest. And again, that's with the right stick all the way down. Now I'm going to switch it to the next mode, which gives you yaw control. So now it's a little more standard yaw control. regular old yaw control, which is nice. But also, in addition to yaw control, it's got altitude hold. So basically, as long as I don't push this up or down, it pretty much stays at the same height. So, a little easier to fly if you wanted to just kind of like use the yaw and the, um, and the stick and not have to worry about altitude, you know, not have to worry about that it's gonna pretty much hold the altitude for you. It's not perfect, but it's doing a pretty good job. And then finally, uh, switching this all the way up, gives you full, full angle control, which allows you to um, go up and down, climb, descend, all that kind of stuff. Um, just like a regular uh, Tiny Whoop quad. Whoa. And run into the house. So now we are going to go ahead and plug in the plug in the goggles, plug in the drone, the Easy Pilot, and take it for a spin with the goggles. I'm going to try and show you what the uh, what the goggles see. That's that's what the goggles. Oops, that's what the goggles see. Um, so if I pick up the pick up the quad, let me see if I can do a better job here. So if I pick up the quad and aim it at myself, you can see my face, hello, hello. Um, different lighting conditions back here and it's kind of uses auto exposure. You can adjust uh, the channel as well as the brightness and the contrast in, this, in these, in these uh, goggles. Uh, you can also adjust the language. And like I said, I think you can swap out for better antennas if you wanted to, but I'm gonna start with the stock antenna. Um, I don't think this has a DVR built into it. So I don't think there's a way to record the flight, but my Fat Sharks do have a DVR. So I'm gonna re record the flight using the DVR in my Fat Sharks just so you get a sense of what the flying looks like. So I'll go ahead and uh, switch this to full manual, or I guess it's basically uh, angle mode. 
There is no, there is no acro mode on this. Uh, arm it and up we go. So that's it, the Emax Easy Pilot, an all-in-one kit that allows you to learn how to fly uh, FPV indoors or out on a calm day like this, uh, but really nice because you don't have to buy separate components, and for $109, it's a pretty high-quality product that will allow you to get to a certain level of flying, and then once you get to that level, you can invest in something like this, the Tiny Hawk S, that allows you to fly in acro mode and really learn how to fly without the training wheels. Great drone for beginners though. If you want to get into flying FPV, which I am loving doing and plan to do lots and lots more of. If you like this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. I hope you will go check out Emacs online. Thanks to them for sending this to me to review. And also thanks to you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and safe flying.